Well, hey, welcome everybody to another episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ken Close. I am your host. Uh, I'm an electronics engineer, uh, Healy pioneer, and lover of the frontier. I mean, <laughs> just a just a little rhyme there. Um, but I'm super happy to be here tonight, and I am joined by my amazing co-host, Jake Barron, Head of Operations for Americas. Hey, Jake, how you doing? Doing great, Ken. Good evening, everyone. Excellent. Thanks for being here. And as usual, we have an amazing customer service agent in the background. Um, is it Dongni that's with us tonight? Yeah, Dongni is from our tech support team is helping us out tonight. She does a great job as always on this call. Right on. Hello, Dongni. Thank you for being here. Everybody say hello uh, in the chat there. Uh, so let me tell you what Tech Tip Tuesday is. If you're new, uh, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you've been here forever, uh, you know the drill. But this is a chat-based forum where we uh, you put your questions in the chat and then we bring them onto the call live. Uh, Jake and I try to do things, talk about it live. And then, of course, Dongni is in the background in the chat also assisting. Um, occasionally, we get the audience to participate as well. So <laughs> I love all the all the solutions that we um, always we always come up with some solutions. Um, often we solve mysteries right here on the spot. So I'm glad you guys are here for that. Tell you what we can't do though, which is not not, not much, but what we can't do is we can't talk about medical issues, diagnosis, conditions, or um, applications that address those. Okay, so fair enough. Um, I guess with all that said, let's get the party started. What do you think? It sounds good. And as Jade mentioned in the chat earlier, love these Tech Tip Tuesday parties. <laughs> right? I got my party hat on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, so Jade is asking here, I see there's a comment here. In Deep Cycle H, can I use the coil or only the wires? So great question. And the cool thing about that is like these apps have a little icon. Um, I could bring my device online, but there's a little icon in the app that shows you um, that it that, that particular program essentially is optimized you know, for the coil, um, essentially it being a IMF designation. So if you go into say Deep Cycle H, yeah. You know, okay. While while you're getting your device on there, I was going to show also in the Healy app manual where you can see this too. So yeah, let me, we'll see who gets gets it set up first. Right. One of us will share our screens here in just a second, folks. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Let's do okay. it. Okay. So all right, I got mine. So I'll, I'll maybe you can show yours after, and then we'll just go from there but yeah so as far as using it with the coil um what can i'll show you here the actual icon on the app itself but in the app manual too this is that manual is available in academy to download available in back office to download it's also available within the healy app itself if you go to the info center uh page there too but you'll see here I'm, i scroll down to deep cycle um and you know this is very similar to Deep Cycle H, other than the first three programs there. And you see where it says technology here, um, IMF. Uh, that means that it can be used with the coil. So individualized microcurrent frequency. Um, and then as Kendall showed here in a minute, there's an icon that says that too, and sort of the top right of each of the the program names. So if you're looking through the app manual, it says IMF. But let me just show, for example, we'll go to one of the other um programs here you'll see here uh, like in the skin program group it says mc so microcurrent um only essentially versus imf imf means okay to use with the coil and you see imf is always associated with uh the systemic programs in the description if it's a local program that's where the only the microcurrent comes into play there awesome. so let me i'll stop sharing my screen can you if you want to years up and show it the in the app itself how that looks absolutely okay so here we go let's share this screen um from here and and as jake said the mc um so the app is going to just show imf if it's not there then it's the yeah. other 
um, by default, right? Okay. So let's see here. I'm gonna share this. Um, here we go. <clears throat> A little slow today on the action here. Huh. Okay, so yeah. here we go. There's the deep cycle H. And um, as you see at the top right, as Jake mentioned, of those programs, you see the IMF. Uh, and that just means it's it's uh, essentially optimized for the use with the coil. Uh, and what that is going to do is it's going to the coil converts the microcurrent into a magnetic pulse uh, emission. So uh, that just means that the IMF says it's going to do that efficiently. All right. Um, and if we go back to, say, the skin program that he was showing there, um, and you see the uh, skin harmony local, it, it doesn't have the IMF there. It does not have the MC either, but it, it, at least you know that it's not there, meaning that, um, you know, you still run that in, in with regards to microcurrent. And let me show you, I'm going to go ahead and click on that skin harmony local program and you'll see how it's asking you to connect right so um, the app itself every one of these programs the app itself shows you how to connect and then of course giving you the duration of the program and notice that it says maximum duration right the maximum program duration in other words what that means is 30 minutes max however if your body acclimates to all of the frequencies that the program is is implying to you or sending to you and you've essentially um become full <laughs> right fully resonant with the frequencies it could end prior to that 30 minutes and i get people all the time say well my, my program just quit on me uh and and i'll we'll go back and take a look at things and they'll actually the program actually finished its job ahead of the timer and that's possible okay so that's what it would look like if that was um you know, the that's a non IMF. If it is IMF, let's just pick the inner beauty at the very top. And you'll see the IMF ones are typically, or well, always systemic programs. In other words, through the whole system. In other words, you see that it's showing you your connection is via the wrists. Um, and of course, it shows a little round pad there as if it was implying the sticky pads, which it does. But you can also um, interchange the wrist bracelets with that. And uh, and that is systemic, meaning it's going from one side of your body through the entire system or your entire body to the other side. Okay, so that's what that looks like. All right. Okay, let's see what we've got here in a minute. Here's one from, I don't know, did I miss anybody up top here? Um, I think so. And then, Uh, okay. And of course, Dongni is adding amazing value back there for you guys too. So make sure you're looking at the chat there. Um, okay. There's a, here's a question uh, regarding power of three. Um, scanning tells me Zapper is ranging from in 60 or 40s to 61, uh, even when I run it daily. Is there a unique protocol for Zapper, i.e., related to moon cycle or something else for me uh, in to better uh, clear the zapper. Okay, assuming what you're talking about there, when you do a scan within the resonance program, the zapper pops up and it has a, a range, a percentage, right? A percentage of relevancy. Now that 40% to 60%, whatever that percentage is, that's the range of relevancy to you, to your body, to your needs. And that's just, a, it doesn't mean that that's what like uh, you would set the uh, in microcurrent intensity range within the pink dot or anything like that. It's just how that scan has deemed that one program relevant to you. And in some days uh, it may, when you do a scan, it may be 40%. Other times it may be less or more. Um, if your body, okay, let me put it this way. Um, it may take the, a while. And if the body's, um, excretion systems aren't being cared for, then getting rid of that burden may take longer, uh, and it, and so you may need, you may not see a lot of changes. Remember, this scan, any scan you do, is in real time in that present moment. So, um, 
I'm sorry to say, but we can go out and sabotage all the work that gets done, right? How many times you you know somebody is uh, maybe changing their diet, right? And all of a sudden, you know, it's like, well, hey, man, I reached my goal. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my old behaviors. Um, but what's the body going to do? It's going to go back to the old self, that old, you know, what you just got done accomplishing. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't put more information or put more questions in there, maybe I added more questions to you. Yeah, Ken, uh, and also uh, she she was calling out, you know, one specific program in the power of three. And really the power of three is meant to be designed as part of a nine week application protocol where you're running one program on Mondays, one program, one program group on Mondays, one on Wednesdays and one on Fridays. So it'd be interesting to know if, you know, following that protocol, if it changed some of these results from the analysis after the nine week um, period of time too, which, you know, it's not necessarily designed to be run every single day um, mm -hmm. as well. So that, that could be a, maybe a different way to approach this and see what, see what happens there. Yeah, there is. A, so that protocol is published. Where is that? Uh, I believe it's in, there's a flyer on power of three in back office that mentions, you know, the, the nine week protocol only to be applied once a day on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, in addition to any other Healy programs you're using, but they might just cycle through. There's a little bit more information in the Healy app manual too um, regarding this. So I would, I would kind of reference that, but maybe just try using it, you know, every couple of days, you know, or, or you know, once or twice a week rather than every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the body takes a minute. Right. I mean, you, you can't start a diet today and then a different one tomorrow and so on every day of the week and expect to know which one was the most effective. It's important that, you know, that we give the body time. Right. Give it time. OK, uh, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was, I don't know, I'm sorry, I missed it here. It was about the transmission using wires. For, uh, uh, it was, uh, actually, it was a, it was a qu question about Doc Steve. <laughs> uh, that greater than 50% um, was too much for your body, basically, to... So that, that's, you know, there's no one percentage that's valid for for everybody as far as the percent intensity when using uh, microcurrent, for example. You know, some people run some programs at 80, 90, 100%, other people at 15%, depending on the sensitivity. You know, the, the, the big thing to point out is you always want to have the, the frequency waves flowing when you're using these. You know, if you get that message, a frequency is generated, but no currents flowing, that's not good. That means there's either maybe the wristbands are too loose, maybe you're dehydrated, maybe your your wrists are dry, uh, maybe you just need to increase the intensity some. So you always want a frequency wave to be flowing, um, and then also that that changes throughout the program too, depending on the frequency that's being uh, transmitted. If it's a low frequency, that message might pop up, and then it switches to a high frequency and it goes away. So you want to find a level, uh, an intensity where it stays. Uh, regardless of the of the frequency being transmitted, that it stays that flowing frequency wave. Um, so yeah, really, you don't want to feel. You know, a lot of, we we get this question a lot. <laughs> Ken is, you know, I don't feel anything. I don't feel the tingling. You know, it's not working. Then if I don't feel the the tingling, and that's absolutely not the case. That's actually bad <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if you're feeling the tingling because your body's sensing this unusual uh feeling and it's not just allowing the frequencies to do their work letting your body just you know you don't you don't want your body to be aware of it now the frequencies do their thing sort of in the background is we're gonna get the, the the best benefits so of course less is more and you know there's a kind of a general recommendation maybe increase the intensity to a point where you feel a little bit of sensation and then back it down you know one or two notches you know it's kind of so it's, it's at a good level on um, right below the point where you would start to actually feel something 100 that's it's super important 
to understand that each one of us is its own little biology, <laughs> okay? And so how you, how your body takes the uh, the current flow uh, is different than another person. And so um, I, I love Doc Steve's advice about, uh, you know, staying within a, a lower boundary because that's safer, right? To, to stay in a lower boundary. But if the program on the screen and you're running uh, the microcurrent through your body and you're running the Healy 2 app, and the program will tell you if you're if if it's being effective, and if it says that there is frequencies but no current flow because of however you're connected, um, it's not being effective as much. If if your goal is to use microcurrent, we need to make sure that there that you are like part of the circuit, right? The, it, we're talking about electron fo flow here, so we have a wristband on one side of our body and a wristband on the other, and wires connected. So so this is kind of like, uh, not kind of like, it's exactly like an electrical circuit. And if you disconnect one of the wires, right, you've broken the electrical circuit. If you remove the wristband from the body, you've broken one of the electrical, the electrical circuit. If your body is not accepting the electron flow through it, you've broken the electrical circuit. So Healy's monitoring that all the time and, and for good reason. Because Healy want to make sh make sure that it's being effective, right? Healy wants to know it's working, and so there had to be systems built in to be able to measure that. Because we don't have a practitioner next to us to say, you know, are you connected right? Or, are they monitoring the system? No, Healy was built for an individual frequency system, right? IMF individual microcurrent frequencies. So okay. Um, so it had to have some systems built in to make sure it's working. And that's one of them. And as Jake said, I, I really got, want you guys to try to resonate with this is that not all frequencies require the same amount of power to get through your body. Okay. So as Jake said, the lower the frequency, so typically under about that 400 Hertz, right? Some people, it, it varies by the body, but under that 400 Hertz ish, um, it may take more microcurrent, or in other words, more amplitude from the settings on the app uh, to get that that frequency to go through you uh, so that you don't get that message on the screen that says, hey, it's not working really. That's that's my short uh, my shortened version of what that means. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's it's really important that you you kind of watch the program you're running. You, you need to interface with it so you get to know you as a body. How many of you guys, you know, that are brand new with Healy here um, have run all the different programs? You know, I haven't run all the different programs. There's over 300 of them. And I've been with Healy for what, four years now. So uh, anyway, the point is get to know the system, understand your body, and then adjust, adjust accordingly. And again, as Jake was saying, uh, if you're aware of the tingling sensations, I, even if it's pleasant to you, the subconscious is asking this question three times per second, safe, not safe, safe, not safe. The subconscious, you're not doing it, but the subconscious is. And the reason it's doing that is to keep you alive by putting you into either sympathetic or parasympathetic, you know, fight or flight or rest and digest. So it, if you need to be in fight or flight, your body's prepared for the fight or the flight or whatever's going on. And so when there's some unusual sensation, uh, that is experienced by the body, that subconscious goes, uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not sure if it's safe. So it puts you into a sympathetic nervous system and things go on alert. So this is the reason we want to keep the current down below that sensation level so that we can speak to the body from a subconscious perspective. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. Oh, great. All right. So I like this question here. Dory's asking, will programs run with the coil and or on the mag Healy um, also shut down uh, when they when you are full? So great question. Yes, with the coil and the Healy, no with the mag Healy. Okay, so Healy is the one that's evaluating you. Healy, mag Healy is applying. So it's not really a, an evaluation process. With the Mag Healy, it's, it's, you know, you run it for its duration and you can adjust its intensity. 
but it's not it's not that two way interface. Um, but Healy is okay. All right, what else we got? Uh, Vernice is asking some. Let's see, using the vibrational frequency in blue dot, what does the Z represent? For example, uh, nine nine seven Z. I love that. That's actually a fraction of a second, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's very very small, and that's why you see it listed as you know for some of the things it's minutes, seconds, and then fractions of a second there or i think the shortest period of time is i think it's less than a second it's like i forget exactly what it is where it starts like 900 yeah you know like millisecond or whatever it is but yeah so 997 thousandths of a second that's not even a second yet <laughs> yeah. so 997z was the actual reference here in the in the comment or in the chat so that's 997 thousandths of a second so not even in one second yet it's a, fr a fraction that's what the Z stands for. Yeah, yeah. So, and also there's in the the Heal Advisor Analyze app, there's a little note about, um, you know, how those times are actually calculated there, or, you know, where they where they came from, because it's not just sort of a <laughs> a random number. I was going to try to find that page here, and so you can see. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, while you're looking for that here's another yeah. question about the pet um kit and the pet uh programs um the the question is when using the pet kit on my dog i often see the flow is not adequate and the yellow pads are saturated uh so what can i do to make the frequencies flow better also how many programs can i run on my dog per day uh, is using the resonance app effective for dogs? So three questions there. <laughs> uh, so how do I get the flow to show on the app, right? When you're connected to your pet. So those pets have different fur levels. You know, some pets have very thin fur. Some have multiple layers of fur, depending on the breed. Some of, are made for a more hardy environment. Some are not. And so it's kind of a, case by case uh, as to how to get a good connection with the body of the pet. And if you notice, like on most of them on the legs, uh, there are thinner parts of fur on them than others. And so by placing pads and moistened wet pads in areas where there's less fur, you'll probably get a little bit more of a, of a connection as well as the underbelly, right? There's, cer there's certain areas that you could... Uh, you could utilize to get a better contact, but you're doing the best you can by wetting those pads uh, and then uh, applying them in places that are less furry. Um, now you can increase the intensity, but watch your pet, watch the pet because they're very sensitive or maybe very sensitive and they'll get agitated, uncomfortable, start, you know, maybe making a sound or freaking out about what they're feeling. So you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. It's better to actually have that message of no current flow uh, because you're still applying the frequencies as opposed to agitate the pet. Making all the adjustments you possibly can with the pads, making sure they're super wet. You can also wet the fur, right? So, you know, wherever you're going to place the pad, wet that area of the of the pet uh, and then put the pad there because that that's going to already saturate. And, and some of the pets, some of, you know, dogs especially, they have an inner layer of fur um, that helps as a moisture barrier. So you'd have to get a little bit more moisture in there to actually get that transference. Um, and then how many programs per day? I still do not recommend, uh, follow the same protocol essentially as what Healy recommends for humans. And that's about three programs a day, no more than that. I would run one. I mean, always start with the least, run one and, and allow for this change in the pet to take place. I mean, build them up no different than you would build it yourself up, uh, but stick with that three. Um, let's see, what was the last one? Uh, is the resonance, can you use it on a pet? Absolutely. Yeah, if you'll notice when you're setting up a client within the resonance program, it can be a person, a pet, a place, a car, a group, a building. <laughs> it's a, it can, you know, cause we're looking at the information field. 
And based on whatever type of client you choose, we'll have different questions or different information to place into the client record there, okay? And then you can do the analysis and then apply because you're now working on the quantum entanglement of your, your client, AKA your pet, and the frequencies that have been deemed necessary for them. It's fabulous. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, oh yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> I almost forgot what I was about to show. So the in the Analyze app manual, again, as I mentioned before, you can get this within the app itself or uh, in the download section of Academy or back office, but on page, 21, there's a section called vibrate and it tells, this shows, you know, as you referred to earlier, the Z at the end, you know, the Z here, Z here, not all of them have Z, but you see here, uh, there's 12 discrete frequencies per octave with a base frequency, 256 Hertz, which is the note C in John Herschel's musical scale and used for coherence. So that's where these numbers come from. They're not just randomly um, sort of, sort of put in there. So that's that's why some of these you know you see some some of these are, are very very precise four hours seventeen minutes forty four seconds four hundred thirty seven uh, fractions of, of a second there so uh, of course these are the recommendations you can also manually put in um, any time that you would like in the app as well when you're going to vibrate frequencies. I love it. See, look at all the information we got nowadays. Yeah, they just got to know where to look. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay mm -hmm. uh so let's see dory's asking does it do anything to vibrate the blue app all healy programs in other words that's a uh it, in the in the blue app when you're running the resonance there are databases you can choose to analyze the client with and the one that's called all healy programs essentially is a database that is used that you're using in that moment to analyze the client and that simply is in the database is all of Healy programs. So in all the microcurrent programs, right? Well, like I said earlier, we have what, 300 or so. So they're all in that database. And then when you do an analysis on the client, it nets you the top five, only the top five um, of all those programs. And those top five are in particular order. The first one is the most important and then so on down the list. And so the question here is, it, does it do much to vibrate those into the field of the client, essentially? So when you do the analysis, it's going to net you the top five programs. And remember, uh, I'm sorry, the top five program pages, pages. And remember, those program pages may have up to 12 programs per page. So that's a lot of programs, five times 12. That's potentially 60 programs being vibrated into the field of the client. And with each program, in, in, in one program, there could be hundreds of frequencies available uh, for the purpose of that one program. So is it effective? Sure, but you put a lot of information into the field of the client. Nothing wrong with that, but you put a lot of information into the field of the client. So what I do is once it nets me those top five pages, I go back and I do an analysis with just one of those pages as my database, right? Just one. And then the next one and the next one, and the next one, so on. And then what that nets me is a another top five programs on that one page. Okay. Then you could maybe, maybe you vibrate just the top five programs on that page. You follow me so far? So you're getting a little bit more precision. Uh, in terms of your analysis is what that means. Yeah, okay. I mean, the, the, the all Healy programs, it, it's a great starting point, you know. Um, that's where, of course, if you don't really know where to begin, that's how you begin to narrow down. Or else if you're just, if you're just randomly picking databases to, you might not um, get the programs that you need the most right now. So it's a great starting point. And yeah, you can, of course, do the deep dive and narrow it down, but there's, there's certainly benefit as well to just vibrating those. And you know, we Healy, we wouldn't give you the option to vibrate them if it was doing nothing. So, you know, <laughs> it's there um, to do it. You can vibrate those and then you can also um, uh, dive deeper. And then you can, of course, as Ken mentioned, you know, find those top programs and run them in the, the Healy 2 app with the microcurrent and the, the electrodes. 
And, and so if we're, we're, what's the goal? Our goal is to be as most effective as possible uh, with ourselves or our family or whoever we're working with. And it's, and even if it's far away or nearby, because that's the cool thing about the resonance system is that it, it can be operated non-local. So when we're doing an evaluation on a customer or a client that's non-local, we've got them put in as a client within the uh, the resonance app, and we do a scan using all Healy programs. Awesome. So what I do uh, is I write those pages down. I write them down. Okay. Now I have top five pages amongst all of them. For this particular client, I write them all down. Then I go back and I do another resonance analysis for the same client on each one of those pages. And to the side of each one of those pages, I write the results from my second go around, my second scan. I write the results. So if it's say the, the top one showed up to be fitness page or the fitness uh, page programs, right? And when I did the scan on just the fitness page, it said, um, it said, stamina it said uh muscle it said but it gave me five programs on that page that were the top five needed for that client i write those down so then i go to the next page do an analysis write the programs from that page result and so on and so on like i said before you have a potential for up to 60 uh well five times five i sorry 25 you have a potential for 25 different programs Right in order, these are this is priority. So because you've scanned the first page in the first scan, and then you gave the first program for the first for the second scan, you start to build an order, a pecking order of priority. Okay, so what I do from that point now, I have twenty five programs in a line, just one right after another, and I and if we're going with the basis of three programs per day. We can vibrate those top three to the client today, right? Then we can do the second three to the client the next day. We can do more in the terms of vibrational sending than we do in terms of microcurrent sending. We could actually vibrate the entire series. Um, but I like to apply, evaluate, and course correct. You see what I mean? So I, I can make that list, those 25, kind of spread out over a week. That's just the way I do it because I like to evaluate what's going on with the person in, you know, day by day. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let's see. And I think uh, Jade had a question here about please describe where in the back office one can find that IMF program guide shown earlier. Yeah, let me, let me I'll, I'll share my screen just so you can see where I was going for that. Let me find that again. Okay. So, you know, for, uh, actually I'm not logged into back office, but I can show an academy. Um, it's basically, it's the same thing. Um, actually, if you're looking for specifically product information, and I think it, I'm just, direct everybody to Academy because you might find something new there that, <laughs> that wasn't there uh, before in the process of going to look for that. So let me, okay, let me share my screen. And, okay, so this is Healy Academy and this is the download section, but if you just log into Academy for the first time, if you go to academy.healy.world, it asks you to pick your country and then you log in. Same login that you use for the, the Analyze app, to use for shop, to use for back office, all single um, login there. And after you log in, at the top you have more options, home, products, which has Healy, my Healy, Healy, uh, well, Healy Watch, well, of course we <laughs> all longer available. This, this, this academy is actually shared between the US or the Americas and Europe. So that probably will be there for a bit. But science and then courses, which are really cool. You can take little quizzes after you complete the videos and get your certificates, which is great. Um, a whole new business section over the last year, which has a ton of great information. And then you see, then we get to the downloads. And then from there, uh, we go to, you can filter 
by all these different categories. You can filter by country, you can filter by language, but if you're looking for just the manuals, you just click manual, and then you'll see here, uh, manual, Healy app, this is for USA. You see the analyze app manual and you see the mag Healy manual too. So this is where you can download them. But also keep on, you can you can access all of these from the apps them, themselves too. So you can access them there, download them onto your phone, save them, um, easy to reference as well. And that will, once you download it, you can open it up and it'll go, you know, as you can find that information that I showed earlier about, you know, the, the, the technology, whether it's IMF or microcurrent or, you know, to indicate if it can be used with the coil or not. Super helpful, right? I love that. Um, so Lisa is asking here, is running a program on the resonance as powerful as running a program with the wrist attachment? Also, is there a program that will help for buzzing in the ear? Um, so I can't really talk about it. Well, Mag Healy, and I, there was a training that I loved that... Um, was done on the podcast, um, the, the Healy podcast series. And it was called, I think it was sub -call, subtitled called The Sound of Silence, something like that. And he talked about The Sound of Silence, which is a program mm -hmm. on the Mag Healy. And he did talk about what that might be for, right? What could be used for. And um, so uh, just in regards to maybe that buzzing question, now, yeah. is yeah, but is, oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was gonna if, to add on to that. You can also, you know, we're not going to, you know, address any sort of specific treatment or anything like that on this call. But you can also use our Heal Advisor search module in the Heal Advisor app. Um, you can type in different search terms, and if there's any programs that might be beneficial that contain frequency that might be beneficial for specific topics, um, those would come up on that list there. Um, we'll give you a whole list of programs, you know, multiple programs for a specific topic, then you can add those programs to your IMF schedule and kind of run those over the next couple of weeks um, as a as a supportive sort of um, to support whatever issue you're going through at the time. I love it. Um, so then the next part of that question is, um, or the first part of that question is, was one more powerful than the other? So I, I don't know if I like to use the word powerful, but how what we're addressing, are we addressing the energy body, the physical body, the emotional body, the spiritual body? Because that's essentially the layers in which this is working. So when we're running microcurrent through the body, we're talking to the electrical body uh, and the physical body, okay? Now the physical body, remember, is a series of genetic expressions, <laughs> genetic coding, cells and systems and organs and tissues, right? Um, but there is a essentially an intelligence that's orchestrating that whole thing. Like you, 800,000 cells per second are being recreated in your body. 800,000 per second. Now, are you doing that? <laughs> no, there's an intelligence that's doing that. And there's a genetic code that's assigned to all that. So when we're looking at quantum entanglement and we're working with the resonance or the blue app, now we're talking to the quantum field of this person, non-local, local doesn't matter. Is one more effective than the other? If are we talking, we need to, if we're talking to the tangible three-dimensional body, then microcurrent is one of those infusions that really is connected to the body. Um, but if we're looking at changing things around subconscious, um, energetic, uh, not just energetic, but spiritual, even emotional things, um, I really do like the resonance scan and application and vibration mode uh, and do both. <laughs> right? I mean, the reason the system is built with all these different modalities, including the coil and the mag Healy is because they are synergistic, right? If you're really working on something complex, hit it with all you got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had it as, yeah, as, as uh, the question said, is it more powerful they're both powerful in their own way. So yeah. um, definitely, um, you know, incorporate both into your daily routine. 100%. So um, I want to go ahead and quick share my screen again here uh, because I want to show you guys something that, that, again, that Jake was talking about here. 
um, two things basically, because I want you to see exactly where do I where do I get this from the app itself. Okay, well let's just say we go to uh, the Healy app, right? And um, here's maybe what you see: your list of programs at the bottom of the screen down there. Uh, you see the program groups. Okay, that's all your programs for your edition. You see the expert area. Now the expert area is where you could have a time waiver practitioner build you a custom program and then apply it to your app so you can run it with your Healy. The info center, you see that one at the bottom down there? That's where Jake was talking about. You will find the manuals, um, access to the Healy Academy and so on. The settings tab, that's where you will find information about your um, uh, your version of Healy. So you can say my Healy right here. You can take a look at your serial number, um, any upgrades that we've covered before, how to get there. Um, you can turn things on or off like the sound. You see that you can enable notifications on or off. There's certain things you can do there. Um, let's go back to the info center real quick here. Here's where Jake was talking about. See that tab right there it says Healy Academy. We tap on that and it takes us right to the Academy. Okay. And we log in. And now we have access to what he was just talking about. Um, download section right there below it, the guides, right? Instructions for use. And then of course, another cool thing, look at there, there's the help center, All right? See that, that's pretty cool stuff, right? So let's go back now um, to what he was talking about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this so you can see where how to open it. This is what it looks like. The Heal Advisor app is the bottom uh, left side the wavy app, okay? When you open that, um, it's going to go to Heal Advisor. You have to read the disclaimer. So it's gonna open and synchronize your database. Right there, the Heal Advisor search. Tap on that arrow next to IMF programs there. Another disclosure, say okay. Now, that box at the top right there, folks. Say we were talking about something earlier. I don't know, just... Uh, what was it? I don't know, ear buzzing. So look at that. It comes up with a, a, a listing right there at the top. It, it basically builds you a little database, a little listing. So if I tap on that Harmony Ear 5, here are the programs associated with that alignment. See that? And you can run them all if you want, whatever. It's going to have... Yeah. A, that's okay. Yeah, it's that that point at the top there. The very as far as the add search result to IMF schedule. Yeah, you can create that schedule, and it, you can have it remind you. You know, it'll it'll up to three programs per day. Um, if you add that to the schedule, which is cool, and you can set it to remind you at specific times each day. Hey, it's time to run your morning program, or it's time to run your afternoon program, time to run your evening program. Yeah, this is super powerful, you guys. You don't have to guess. Right, there's a database right here to help you out. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. Okay. And Ken, as you were, as you mentioned earlier about the, the program that's in the Mag Healy, the sound of silence, you know, the the official description from the Mag Healy app manual is actually here. And it says sound of silence most suitable for people experiencing auditory disharmony. So yeah, that would be. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a great program as well for anyone that has a has a Mac Healy. Like I said, when we started the call, I always have that disclaimer. We can't talk about medical conditions or anything diagnostics around that. But as you see, there's right there, there's information and resources how you can help yourself um find what you need. Yeah, I mean you use the app manuals, use the Heal Advisor app. Use the analyze app, you know, combine all these things and together to to make sure that you're getting the programs that you can benefit from the most at this particular time. Very useful. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, Dory uh, said that I understand about the top five and the scanning those, but someone told her that um, only the programs like Bach Flower do anything when vibrated, not true. I don't know, I mean, not true. Vibration mode, irregardless if you are scanning from the all Healy programs and the, the, the microcurrent programs that are in the Healy 2 app, this guy right here, 
remember those are frequencies. There's it's a it's a pool of frequencies. Let's say that again, like I mentioned earlier in the fitness page, it was uh, say the muscle harmony program. The muscle harmony program has frequencies assigned to it when you run it with the microcurrent. Then the the Healy is attached to you, and so it's assessing you and finding harmony and resonance with you. Okay. Because it's connected to you. That's why it doesn't have to have a client input. But when you're running it from the Blue app, you do have a client input. That's how it's entangling those frequencies and the person it's being applied to. No matter if it's coming from the Pink app or any of the databases via Bachflower, the frequencies are built into the database and they are sent into the quantum entanglement field of the client. All right, so those you're getting the same frequencies specifically designed for your body, okay? It's just coming from uh, the frequency is the frequency. Instead of it being piggybacked on microcurrent because you're running it through your body um, or you're sending it through vibrate mode from the blue app, it's still going into the person. Um, so... Uh, it's 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 not true that they're not functioning uh, from the blue app. They are functioning from the blue app. Okay. And Ken, I was gonna share my screen. Like lots of screen sharing and <laughs> I love app it. sharing tonight. But there was you know related to Bach flowers. You know there was you you answered the the question here, uh, but that was asked earlier. Where are the Bach flower programs? And then also you know how to use them, but, you know, for, again, <laughs> back to Academy, there's so much there. Uh, this is something that was added in the last couple of months, but if you go to, to the analyze app section, so at the top here, if you go to products and then go heal advisor, analyze app, scroll all the way down to the last, the most recent video, there's a whole video on Bach flower analysis. So anyone looking for more information on that database, um, definitely check this one out. It's it's really a great overview and training as far as what Bach flowers actually are um, and how we're using them in the Analyze app. That's a great, I mean, look at these tools, you guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these, these are amazing. And so much more training. And, and I'll tell you what, probably one of the number one questions I get on a regular basis every week uh, from my team or from others uh, is um, how do I know I want to know more about the program. How do I figure out more about the program? Right. Well, it's coming. Um, and you know, I, there was one, I, I had a question earlier today, I think, is there a book, <laughs> is there a book on these programs that describes their function? Uh, no, but we've got some great videos that are starting to uh, be available. All right. Um, so Marty has one, question and Dongni is doing awesome to give you some content there and and this is a good one because we we get this one often too about the battery uh marty is saying um hi techie team uh that that marty runs a, a couple of programs a day like three um and at 40 percent, and the battery goes dead essentially um so now typical use for a healy running you know, four programs a day. Um, that's an hour. Some of these programs, I guess the longest one's what, 70 some minutes. Um, these longer programs, you you probably, you could get four out of it out of a charge. Um, but if there's a suspicion that it's not functioning the same as it used to, so Dongni put a procedure in here about how do you do a little bit of a reset, right? There's a reset. There's a battery kind of reset. Now, I want you to understand that when you look at the app and there's a battery indication up there and then the app says, sorry, I can't do any more programs because the battery's dead, right? That's one thing. But when the Healy goes dead and they're still showing some battery life on the app, again, that means there's a there's a, uh, a calibration problem. And so there's a way of recalibrating that. Um, and I think Donnie's put some stuff in there about that. Let's see. There is a battery recalibration process. Maybe we can add that to our chat. And then, because um, I want you guys to know, you can 
save this chat at the end of your call if, if you're on a laptop or your computer. So if we have that battery reset process in there, um, Jake is putting some links in there about there's the Bach flower video. Um, okay. <clears throat> and then looks like Linda's having a little trouble with some databases. Um, and there was some suggestions from Dongni on how to fix that. And guess what? Now it just appeared. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> right. There are, there are some pretty simple things sometimes that we need to do to uh, essentially maybe get rid of something that's not functioning, reset it, allow the database to, to resynchronize, and then boom, you get things back. So um, I highly suggest that you save the chat so that there's these procedures you can go back and do again. Um, can we save the chat? There should be those three little dots. I'm just looking at my chat. Is it there? I don't see it. No. Um, where are they? No, I don't see that. Did we turn save chat off somewhere? I didn't mean to. Um, I have the option to save chat. I don't know. You got three little dots. Okay. Maybe I yeah, don't. Maybe I don't because I'm the host. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So good. If everybody has those three little dots down there in the chat box next, yeah. to, next to the smiley face, you click on those three little dots. A, a menu pops up that says save chat. Click on save chat. When we're done with our call, on your if you're on your computer or laptop, a message will come up that says yeah. save chat desktop or something you like know, that. My, my my three little dots are near at the top now next to the title of the call Keely tech tip tuesday i don't know if it, that's changed oh. recently i haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to where they are but um mine aren't by the smiley face anymore but. okay well look for those three little dots folks <laughs> do a little test drive tap on them and again the the point is to see save chat and uh allows you to do that. So hopefully that's there for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, what else we got? Where are we? Let me see if you can, if I move my chat window to my screen that I share, if this will come up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Let's see, let's try it out. Can you see my chat window? Um. No. No, no. okay. We, we see. Right. What we see there is your web page, the web page yeah. of your academy. Okay. I guess it's only sharing the the main screen, not the window on top of it. Okay. Okay. There was a question about the easiest way to search for the program info that I was shot. I think I think she was referring to the app manual itself, maybe. I mean, you can always do a control F within these documents and search for uh, certain words or program names or, or that kind of thing. If you're not sure where it is in most documents, you can just do a control F. Okay. Um, I did see a comment here from Marty saying that uh... Let's see. So the programs are about an hour each, and I'm using the coil even though it says IMF. So if it says IMF, that means you can use the coil or the or the microcurrent. Um now I want you to know that the coil doesn't necessarily pull more power from your Healy than connected to your body. When you go up to a hundred percent intensity uh within the app. So the microcurrent flow, it's that setting that determines how much, how fast the battery gets depleted in the Healy, because you're just, it's like you're turning the faucet on higher when you're, when you're increasing that intensity to a hundred percent, it's like you're turning the faucet on higher. So the water flow is going to be faster. Meaning if you are flowing from a bucket, the bucket's going to be empty quicker, <laughs> right? So if you look at your battery as a bucket of water and a, a faucet that you can adjust 
higher or lower is the plus or minus of your percentage of intensity. The higher the percentage of intensity, the faster the flow of electrons or energy out of the battery. So the quicker you deplete the battery. Now, again, remember we, we want, the goal is to make sure that you don't get that message that says that frequencies are being applied, but no current flow. We want that to not be the case. Um, so uh, it's most effective to make sure that we're getting the current flow through our body, um, irregardless if we only get three programs a day, right? That's kind of the key. If you're only getting three programs a day, you can try this reset protocol, uh, battery reset protocol, um, to see if you can recalibrate uh, the charge cycle within the Healy to gain a little more time out of it. Uh, give that a test drive. I, I, I'll be honest, folks. I use my Healy. Um, I drain it probably every day, and I probably get about five programs a day um, using, and I primarily use the microcurrent. So I'm going to consume that battery the fastest. Um, yeah. yeah. It, it, and my body is acclimated to this microcurrent. It loves it. So I can crank it to 100% and not necessarily feel it. I don't feel it. I mean, I know it's going through, but it, so I have variables within myself that I adjust this and it, yeah. So I know the system very well. And so I use it to its fullest. Okay. Yeah. And I think the second part of that question is where can I get another forward charging cable? Uh, basically for your Healy device that uh, looks like Marty's is possibly near the end of its life or, or breaking. You know, I, you know, for me, I find the cord that comes with it to be very, I'm using the same one that I've had for more than three years. I have not had an, an issue with it, but these are just standard micro USB cables. It's a micro USB on one side, USB A on the other. Very easy to find on Amazon, super cheap, a couple of dollars. You can probably get a multi-pack <laughs> of these. Or, you know, we've also mentioned on this call, you know, there's so many other devices that have that come with these types of cables. You probably have something else in the house that uses the same cable um, sitting in a, you know, all of us have that drawer that has all these miscellaneous cables and chargers and stuff like that. Um, so this, this cable, the charging cable is not proprietary to the Healy device. Um, just make sure you get a you know decent quality cable. And you know, it's like, like I said, you probably have another one somewhere in your, your house that you could use as well. Yeah, hundred percent. It's the, the, the micro, you know, I'm in the industry of electronics and digital gadgetry. Um, so these words are, you know, like common knowledge for me, but to some it's not. And I understand that. And there's, you know, what's micro USB, USB C, what's, what is all <laughs> that? Right. Um, and we, we, you know, we look at the port in which we would plug the charger in and you, look at all these cords and go, well, you know, we, we try to match that up, but just know it is called a micro USB. Okay. That's the name of this port and any cord that has the micro USB end on it. Um, and then you plug in the other end to your, your wall outlet adapter. Uh, will it'll work. It'll work. It's just, it's important to know that the wall adapter kind of dictates the charging, the recharging rate because the higher the output of the wall adapter, right? It's going to go down that cord and go into your Healy. The higher the output, the quicker the charge. Okay, so you want to make sure that that output is somewhere around that 2,000 milliamps, right? Or it's basically two amps, 2,000 milliamps, something like that. Something decent like that. Okay, and, and Dory's like, I get overwhelmed with all the info out there to sort through. I so much hear you. I so much hear you. When I started, friends, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm in the techie world, and um, I was I'm very much into the quantum energy and, and frequency stuff. And it took me a minute to get through things, but be patient with yourself. And the academy is doing a great job of trying to simplify things. Um, I highly recommend that you go through there, do those courses, um, take your time, and just take notes. Right, you, you'll start to get it. No different than maybe starting a new job. Anybody ever start a new job, <laughs> right? And you got all this instruction at first and you're so overwhelmed, but eventually after like a few days or a week, you're a pro. So give yourself grace and patience. 
All right. Yeah. I think we're at the at the we're end at the of this hour. hour. Ken flew by again today. Uh, just quick reminder for anyone that missed our Healy for Beginners and Beyond last week. We had a another great episode. Tons of great content on cosmic growth. The uh, you know updating the current on the the Healy Two app. Um, we mentioned that the there's a new default current flow. All Healy's are going to be shipping at high current now instead of low current. Uh, we went through some Mag Healy water application tips as well, and oh, I did an overview of how to use live chat when it's available, what the hours are. We showed an example of how to how best to use the self service chat bot that's available after hours too. So check that out. Recordings on our YouTube page at Healy Americas. Dot com. Domni put the link there to our Healy Americas channel in the chat. So again, check that out. Save the chat as well if you can find those <laughs> three dots. Um, and yes, this recording of today's Tech Tip Tuesday will be available on our YouTube channel as well within the next day or two. And for those of you looking for more details on the beyond the tech side, join us for What's Up Wednesday tomorrow, uh, 1 p.m., Eastern time, uh, HealyWUW.com will take you right to the meeting at 1 p.m. Right on, folks. Well, and these recordings are on that YouTube page. They're usually a couple days at the most, and they're available for you. So hopefully you found some use out of this, some value. And if so, tell your friends, uh, invite everybody, and let's do it again next week. How about that? All right, you guys. Have a good evening. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Dongni. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, nice talking to you. Bye, guys. Oh, save the chat quick. Click the dots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys.